Alright, Kajudo fans, uh, my name is Eric, aka Blaze Belcher, covering for Thunder Sultan. We are here in Oklahoma, uh, Jinx, Oklahoma, at Alien Games at the KMC. I'm here with the runner up, uh, Robert Dominguez. He got second place with his DFW uh, Darkness Fire water deck. Um, so let's break it down and see his uh, card choices. Alright, well, I only decided to play one blocker and it was Grudge Weaver. Um, I really like it because it's a low cost and he discards a card. He's really good against the uh, aggro tempo matchups. Did it hurt you only playing three blockers out of 48 cards, right? Yeah, 48 cards. Okay. Um, there was times, uh, sure, but uh, majority of the time, like if, if you can play out, if you make the right the right decisions at the right time, like you can majority of the time will come out on top. So after after today's matches, would you want to add any blockers or? Uh, no, actually, I would just keep only Grudge Reaver. Only Grudge Reaver, okay. Yep. Um, now these are my three cost cards. I play three mesmerize. We met the mesmerize. Okay. It's a control deck. Um, I have the logo scan for to have to keep my options alive. I need to need to have the draw power. I'm not playing light, so I can't play like reverberate or anything like that. And it's really good early. I get to play it before uh, before Keeper of Laws comes out, so I enjoy it. Uh, Cyberwalker Kaylee. It's uh, one of the MVPs of my deck. Uh, it stops. It stops tempo in its tracks. Like, and we're gonna we gonna also come back to that card when we get to uh, to another uh, combo card with it. Tricks and combos. Yeah. All right. All right. Now uh, these are the cards that cost four. I play three Bone Blades. Crystal Memory is probably the best card in my deck. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, fumes for more more of the uh, hand destruction. Keep my opponent at bay with their options. And I take one Gill of Flame. The Gill of Flame was a uh, good to kill like major AOs or keeper laws that went in. Uh, untargetable cards like uh, Turn Up. Um, with the with the 48 cards, did you see get a flame often, and did it help you with most of your matches? I sometimes I draw them. I have you know I have my logo scan. I have draw power. Other times, you know, I I search for, I search them with crystal memory. Okay. So you're, you'll notice I have a lot of one ups. All right. Um, now for my shield blast, I play Great Drill Storm. It's the best mass removal right now against Temple. Uh, Grip of Despair. I was kind of iffy on it, but I decided to play it because I needed more water cards. Um, and it's really good against this, uh, all this ramp that's going around because they, they ramp really fast. and they, By the time they pull out a big creature, you're only, you're only at four or five mana. Yeah. So Crib of Despair is a really, really good creature removal. And at that point, most of the time, they don't have a hand because of my Mesmerizing Fumes. Um, I also check one Mending, just in case I didn't draw the Fumes or Mesmerize. While they're ramping, they're using cards out of their hand, so I can turn four crystal, turn five mending, and they have nothing else in their hand. Okay. Uh, uh, we're gonna come back to those three cards. We're gonna come back to We're gonna save them for last. We're gonna save them for last. Okay. Uh, uh, I I play one blaze helix. I've actually um, I put it in here for Haven, uh, and that was pretty much the only reason. But I didn't even use it well, against Haven. You also have to, you can't forget like major owls and other blockers. So did that help you against any blocker heavy um, decks today? Did you I, see any blocker heavy decks today? Uh, I did. I think one one game. That okay. was it. But majority of the time, I use it to attack untapped creatures. Okay. Well, that's useful. Yeah. Um, I play Triple Terror Pit. Self-explanatory. Yeah. Um, and I play Triple Sargon. Like, Sar Sargon's a fast attack. It punishes the tempo. And uh, it's, it's got some pretty ridiculous combos in the deck. Uh, I'll get to that later. Okay. Um, I played one Skull Shatter and one Incineration. The Skull Shatter was mainly for the control matchup. Uh -huh. um, I, I used it only whenever I went aggressive. Like I went in and attacked their shields and kept the Skull Shatter in hand. And if they try to do any, you know, whatever they do, they probably can only play like Cassie or something, and then I Skull Shatter and they have nothing. All right. So, um, I play one Incineration, just to just have Mass Removal. Uh, Finbar Dreadnought is probably the heart and soul of the deck. <laughs> um, first of all, it replaces itself, it gives you more cards, and um, it, it recycles all the, all, the, all the goodness and the soul of the deck. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I'll explain more later. I play 
played one one absolute darkness just for like all the hexproof creatures. Um, you know, it can stop uh, Haven from blocking. So, but, uh, I play one Scorch Scorch. It's not needed, but I, I just I really wanted the blue count, and I wanted that extra that extra creature, that extra uh, skull shatter, but he has legs. And uh, also the ex also a helpful finisher when you have a nice board presence, you're able to do that final swing. Yeah, yeah, my, yeah, my fantastic combo. Yeah, um, and triple in furnace. This is the biggest creature I have in, <laughs> right in my deck, yeah. and uh, it just it kills tempo. Once I play Furnace, then they really can't do anything after that. Point. And then uh, uh, Furnace came in handy for today. Uh, yeah, it won most of my matches. Okay, all right. Let's get let's get to this combo right here. We're gonna take this card. Right, we're gonna get Chronex. We'll take this card. We'll take this card. And then this card right here. These four cards. Too? Okay, yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry, forgot about that. All right. <laughs> so these five cards. Tell us what happened. Okay, um, it just, it really depends on the situation you're really in, like, I guess the aggro, you can keep, you can play this and keep punishing them. Um, you notice I play a lot of spells, so Keeper Laws is a problem. That's why I play Chronex, so turn 4, Keeper Laws, turn 5, Chronex, and then my, my Kaylee can go and become a Slayer and kill, kill whatever problem I have. Yeah. And then when he's banished, he goes right back to my hand so I can reuse him again. Um, same thing for Dreadnought. He's, he's really uh, nifty with Chronix. I got this from Eric Ariola. Um, the, the combo is, I can have a Chronix on the board and Finbar's Dreadnought. So you can play Chronix, use his ability, give it to the other Chronix, make him Slayer and able to attack any untapped creature. So he can kill any creature, and when he's slayed and banished because of Finbar's Dreadnought, you get to add it back to your hand and just keep doing the combo. And especially when, when your opponent has no cards in their hand, they, they can't come back. Alright, and with this combo, I never even thought of. Uh, I was told to also put in School of Scourge in my deck um, a while back, and I just, well, I didn't want to lose my hand, because usually with Dreadnought and your Crystals and Logos, and I had a Reverberate at that time, you usually have a full hand, and you just don't want to discard it. So I myself opted out not to play it, but now seeing what you did with it, I might go and take a second look. Explain to yeah. uh, what you did for today. Um, now I have a Squiz Loop with, with Sargon and Finbar. So I, I'll have these two creatures on the board, and then you can play the Squillis. You can uh, mind crush your opponent and Tempest the Tentacles, and then you'll attack with Overlord Sargon first, and use his uh, Grim Command uh, to blow up your own creature. So mm -hmm. you'll blow up your own Squillis, and because of Finbar's Dreadnought uh, Regeneration Chamber, it goes back to your hand. Yeah. Just, just so you can do it again next turn. And because your opponent can't attack or block the whole turn, they have nothing in their hand, you give them the shields, but they can't, they can't really kill your creatures unless they have to have a terror pit, and that'll only kill the Finbar. Also, depending on what you're playing against, if they don't have any discard, they can't really get rid of it from your hand. They have to top deck that only discard card to make you lose that. Right. And they will still be at a disadvantage because usually you will break at least four shields or more, depending right. on your board state. Yeah. So it just puts a lot of pressure on them. And at, the, at that point, it's just, you know, I win the game because school is twice in a row. is pretty deadly. Right, and you were able to do this only once for today so far? Uh, once this today? Lot? Yeah, I only did the loop once because I played nothing but tempo here in Swiss. <laughs> But, um, uh, is there anything that you would change out of these 48 cards? Would you add something, take something out, make it a 50, anything like that? Um, now the these the absolute spells, I I didn't didn't need them at all today. So would you maybe make them into blockers or maybe more shield blast or? You were saying Honestly, that you saying that you had uh, how many creatures? You had like a twenty. I have, I have my, yeah, my my count is twenty three creatures and twenty five spells. Twenty five spells. So would you maybe try to add um, some creatures into it? You were talking about adding uh, OGT from the TBR, right. the original Tatsurian. Yeah, but, yeah. It's a it's a big body. He comes and kills a creature. And, you know, he's just really good at punishing tempo. He's good at killing uh, BBP. You know, cards like that. And um, so I, I'd probably take out an incineration for uh, OGT, and I'd probably take out the darkness for a second to blaze the Okay. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the deck. Uh, try it out. Test uh, any alterations you'd like to do to the deck. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully we guys see you next time. Bye, guys.